community, connection, JCA. Some of our greatest challenges going forward are engagement, engagement not only of our young people but of the community in general. What does being Jewish mean? What is it all about? Why do I need to be Jewish? Why do I need to you know, continue to observe or continue to uh, learn? Because I need to have a good Jewish education so I can teach my children a lot about all the stories from a long time ago. Spark that fire within every child's soul. Partnering with 22 organisations, JCA plays a pivotal role in helping our community grow, be safe and be proud. I think it's something that really is a stable influence on our lives and I think Jewish identity, if we don't learn about it from being young children, it's something that you can potentially lose. Jewish identity in the next generation can be a number of things. It isn't only about religion, there is also culture. The concern is the future. Um, not so much what's there for us, but what, what we do as individuals and as groups, um, the, the next generation of, of leaders. Jewish continuity, ensuring that uh, the next generation is participating in the community. We've got all these great things in place which are um, slowly being developed where we can develop those, those future leaders of not only Maccabi but of the rest of the community. We hope to do our part to ensure that uh, this Jewish community remains strong and vibrant into the future. The young people in the community are the most important people that we have to connect with so that they, in turn, connect with the community. Each organisation adds value and quality to the Jewish life we as a community have created. I actually believe there are many linchpins for keeping our children connected. We need to learn about our background and believe in our religion. One of the most important linchpins has to be their schooling, a Jewish schooling. I really feel that I need to learn about what's happened in Israel. There's a leader within them. They don't have to be wearing a badge. They're a, a leader because of their own personal qualities and strengths. It is very important for me to be Jewish. Given the opportunities to connect on our own levels to Judaism really is a way of really engaging this new generation to stay connected to the Jewish community. So you've got to find reasons to, to connect and reasons to believe and reasons to, to be passionate about your identity. Because what we want is to develop students who leave here passionate about what they do, that they have a focus in life, that they have a purpose in life. No matter what happens with my Jewish life, I know I'm going to university where there probably aren't going to be a lot of Jews. No matter what, I'll always be thinking about the, the base morals that I've been given throughout my culture and my tradition and even just my school environment. We create a strong sense of family within our own um, school community and, and our students are so connected and, and engaged with one another whilst they're at school that those lifelong friendships continue you know, well into their adult life. Even if the children don't get any Judaism at home, if they can just ignite their fire for just half an hour a week, then they've done the most important job, an amazing job in the whole world. Community. Community. Connection. Connection. JCA. JCA. The community is doing a really good job in keeping people, keeping people connected. Um, Israel is one point of connection. I really wasn't so connected with Judaism and that kind of thing. From year seven to year nine, I didn't do Hebrew lessons because of the class I was in, they wouldn't let me. And then thank God BJ had stepped in with the Israel program and he went on that and when he came back, he was a different person. So when we interview them, they are quite um, alone, not connected. Uh, we asked them, would they know how to even recognise Israel on a map? And they don't. It really changed me, it really made me want to connect with the Jewish society, the Jewish life, uh, making me really want to be more involved. The big leap that always brings a tear to my eye is when they come back and they're together and they're a family and they've connected socially and we know that we have made the biggest difference in the world to them. We facilitate and nurture connections between many of our special organisations. We ensure our community is strong. I have a 43 year old daughter who happens to have Down syndrome. The question faced by all parents of children with an intellectual disability is what happens when we're no longer here. 
And I don't think we can underestimate the generosity of the Jewish community in assisting Jewish care with over 600 volunteers to help us do our work. And it's wonderful that the community take the time to say, it's not just about me and it's not just about myself and what I've got. Really coming up, stepping up and saying it is about helping other people. In the community I know there's a big focus on lack of connection for younger people but it's equally important for older people as they stop being able to get out and about themselves they lose that connection with the Jewish community and with other just generally in the wider community. It's so beneficial for me meeting people and here I met quite a few friends that I went to school with in Egypt which was unbelievable. Community is very important to me it's to treat our residents like family. And that's why if you see the memory boxes in the halls in, the, in this building where we've got uh, pictures and, and ornaments of the individual resident, it connects the staff with that human being. Well, just be with Jewish people is even nice, you know. Community, Community. Connection. connection, JCA. I feel like teaching the younger generation is very important because you don't want to lose the, lose the past things like the Holocaust for example, you don't want kids forgetting about that kind of thing. And The lessons of the Holocaust, the fact that those lessons are still relevant today, uh, assists us to get people to have a better understanding of Jews, of Judaism and in the process uh, to fight against, as I say, racism generally and anti-Semitism anti in particular. The community in Sydney, uh, comparatively to the rest of the world, is a very strong, vibrant, powerful community. Uh, but they still face a range of different threats that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know, I'm hopeful for the Jewish community and for the flourishing and expanding and growing together. And I guess it's my responsibility to always hope for a better future for our young people and to instill within them that sense of hope. I think it's vital to maintain communal institutions, to, to maintain the Jewish context of Sydney. I think it's critical. It's very important that these places thrive and survive. It's a Jewish thing and we really like to maintain a high standard. The Jewish community in Sydney is such a strong and grounding force for a family. It's a real way to bring up your children and I think without it our family would definitely be lost. The important thing with all organisations at all levels is really to create that sense of belonging and sense of community. We service mothers in the broader community and they become ambassadors for the Jewish community whether they're Jewish or not. And that to me is priceless. I think every community needs an organisation like JCA to connect it with itself. Each and every one of us can do something uh, and can make a difference. We can all make a difference in society. Without the JCA, we would have to spend a lot more time fundraising and trying to make sure we had resources. That support we get from the JCA is vital to ensure that our community moves forward in the most effective way possible. Community. Connection. JCA. We are committed to connecting our community. Partner with us and let's make a difference. Today. Tomorrow. Forever.